Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck-Totem Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is our retrospective for Ride to Hell Retribution. So, dear viewer, don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Ride to Hell Retribution was released 10 years ago to appalling reviews. But, like so many masterpieces, the world was not ready then to admit that Ride to Hell Retribution was not only the best PlayStation 3 game ever made, but the best video game ever made. Um, seriously? Yes, seriously. Um, seriously, seriously? Yes, seriously, seriously. <laughs> Oh, uh, I almost had you convinced, didn't I? Um, no, not even for one second. This game is the worst thing to happen to video games since I caught my Uncle Bartholomew having sex with a Sega Saturn. That's a defamatory statement, Bertram. Far worse things have happened to video games. Do you not remember Bubsy 3D? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, Ride to Hell Retribution. So, if it's not one of the best video games ever made, then what the hell is it? Well, let's find out together, dear viewer. Expect our usual brand of terrible humor and unfactual facts. Come with us as we discuss the game's development, story, gameplay, reception, and most importantly, sex scenes. Cue the title sequence. <laughs> To Hell Retribution released in 2013, a year I remember fondly as the year I ate a Harley Davidson with a spoon. So, what kind of game is Ride to Hell? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Bertram. Uh, I didn't say anything. Shut up, Bertram. Ride to Hell Retribution is an action-adventure game developed by Utachinks? Utachinks. Utachinks. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, they made a lot of racing games. And since I despise racing games as much as I despise sitting on a toilet seat made of cactus, the only game of theirs that I've had the pleasure of playing is Ride to Hell Retribution. Um, how many times have you played this game, OCG? Uh, are you asking how many times I've played through the game, or how many times I've looked up the sex scenes on YouTube? Um, how many times have you played the game? Oh, probably seven or eight times. Without spoiling my impressions of this game, Ride to Hell is the funniest thing I've played since I learned how to play Shut Your Fucking Face, Uncle Fucker on the piano. Did you know, Bertram, that this game was originally announced in 2008? Oh, I did not. 
What took so long to get the game out? Oh, no idea. The developers probably couldn't stop tinkering with their Twinkies. I mean, tinkering with the game. They couldn't stop twinkering with the game. So much so that what was eventually released was more broken than a porn star's hymen and in a worse state than my Aunt Celeste after a night on the lash. So, development. This game, then simply titled Ride to Hell, was supposed to be an open world biker fantasy set in 1960s California, in which our character would be able to ride several vehicles, including motorcycles, cars, and the like, as well as engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. When the game finally released in 2013, the open world had been dropped, and the game was retitled as Ride to Hell Retribution. But thankfully, the sex scenes were not cut, and that's the important thing. This wouldn't be much of a third-person action game without the action. Know what I mean? Um, I think action refers to the fighting and the... Shut up, Bertram. Action means what I want it to mean. So, story. We play as Jake Conway, an army veteran, biker, and more importantly, a ladies' man. When he reconnects with his little brother, he is left a little worse for wear when his brother is murdered by a motorcycle gang and he himself is left for dead. So, injured, angry, and very horny, Jake sets out on a quest for revenge and to have sex with as many women as possible along the way. Um, how many women does Jake have sex with along the way? Oh, eight? Ten? I lost count after the fourth sex scene. You'll notice very quickly, dear viewer, that not only does Jake like to have sex fully clothed, but he also likes the women to be fully clothed as well. So, Jake is not so much having sex with these women, as he is dry humping them. Oh my! Yes. But it's still strangely arousing. In the same way smashing a Barbie doll and a Ken doll together is strangely arousing. Speaking of sex, foreplay, I mean gameplay. As Jake, you will ride your motorcycle and engage in combat with enemies on the bike and on foot. And both forms of combat are as awkward, clunky, and hilarious as each other. Have a look at this. Behind you. 
You navigate very linear stages, killing enemies with your fists and with firearms. As you've already seen, this game is incredibly entertaining, but it plays like absolute ass. Speaking of absolute ass, when the game released, it was universally panned by critics. Some even going so far as to call it the worst video game ever made. Eurogamer, GameSpot, and official PlayStation Magazine all gave Ride to Hell Retribution a 1 out of 10, which is understandable for a game that looks terrible, sounds terrible, plays terribly, but I can't help but love it. And not just because of the sex scenes, but they do help a lot. This game is bloody hilarious. You don't believe me? Have a look at this. You know how to move, Tony. Like a skinny little old baby cow, ain't he? <laughs> you ever slice an ear off of a baby cow? They scream and scream. It's funny. Mikey, I got your burger. Let's go. Looks like you've been summoned, boy. Run on home now. Hey! Stop! Where'd you get that cut? Oh, Suki Suki! <laughs> wow. Come on! Come on, come on! I'm sorry, son. I was no use at all. He flew right past me. Don't worry, Mac. We haven't lost him yet. We'll just follow the blood. All right, then. I'll ride. You got Jake? What the hell happened? Don't you move now, Cherry Pie. And who the fuck are you supposed to be? I think you've got a ring that doesn't belong to you. You tell that bitch she can have it when I'm dead. I might be able to help you with that. This is the room. This is the birdemic of video games. This is the Plan 9 from outer space for the modern age. This is an abomination. It portrays women as whores, Men as criminals, there's drugs, there's sex, there's a sequence in which you go to a dam, murder hundreds of innocent people, and blow up a generator just to get past an electric fence. I love this game. If you have a PS3 or an Xbox 360, then I implore you to play this masterpiece today. In fact, not today, right bloody now. Therefore, I declare that Right to Hell Retribution is the worst and best video game of all time. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our retrospective for Ride to Hell Retribution. If you enjoyed this little video of ours, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't you dare forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and turn on the bloody notifications. 
But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram.